Hi, this is Mike Muchmore with PCMag.com, and I'm here talking with Microsoft's Alex Bradley. Um, he's with the Office 2016 team, and he's going to show us some new things in Word. Absolutely. All right, well, let's dive into Word. You'll see here I'm in um, Windows 10, just started typing Word. There it is. Now, the first thing you'll notice about Word is if you've used an older version before 2013, this might be a little bit different. If you think about what we used to do when you started Word, we used to take you straight into a blank document. Now, as a result of having invested in Office 365, our cloud service, over the last eight years, we get amazing data on how people use our apps and services. One of the things that we learned was that more often than not, when people are going into Word or Excel or PowerPoint, they're not starting a brand new document. They're working on one that they've already started. So here you go. We've put your most recently used documents right here you know, when you get in. So rather than having to go and start something or op file open, it's right there. So with one click, I start in the document. So it's, we're going to pull this down from our cloud service. Um, one of the things that you'll notice is if you have this stored on OneDrive, you'll see um, you can pick up where you le left off. So if you've got a long document, it'll prompt you to be able to go to where you were in the document. Um, one of the things that I absolutely love, so I'm going to actually get rid of this table. Um, assume that, like, I don't know how to do Like, there are about 4,000 different um, features in Word, and it's sometimes a little bit difficult to know, you know where they all are. So this is a new feature in uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook uh, called Tell Me. And what I can do here is uh, insert table of um, contents. And because I, I don't actually remember where that is in the user interface. Now, if I go here, click table of contents, click automatic table, you'll see that it didn't take me to a help file. It didn't take me to Clippy. It took me straight to the actual command and has allowed me to go and put in that table of contents. I don't have to know where it is, and it, I can just sort of, um, it'll anticipate what I want in that regard. That's great. One of the other new things about... Um, so you don't uh, have to dig through a thousand precisely, icons. Precisely. Now, the ribbon has made it easier than ever to do that, um, but this helps take a little bit of the effort off of the end user. Now, one of the things I want to highlight here in the top right-hand corner is this share button. So one of the things that we've seen is customers, um, both whether consumers or whether companies, moving away from individual-centric work to more collaborative work. And that's as true for kids in school who are working collaboratively on class projects as it is for people who work in businesses who are increasingly having to work on a 3D printing proposal like this one in front of us. So what I can do here is click on share. And what I'm going to do here is um, type in and this is going away, and it's looking at um, my organization. And if I go and say, Sanjay, hey, need your help, and click on share, what's going to happen here is it's fired off a message. And if you now go and have a look in here, Hi, and go to navigate to the, um, to the Outlook um, client, you should see uh, a mail from me. And you're able to then click in and start editing in this document. And here I'm editing on the web version of Word. Yeah. And this is that's a really good observation, because whether you're in the web version of Word, whether you're in the rich client version of Word, whether you're in the Word app that you have on your iPhone or Android's phone or Windows Mobile, um, you can collaborate. This is exactly the same experience. So it's unmistakably Office across all those different things. Whilst Sanjay's coming in, and actually you see that it just popped in, Sanjay is editing this document. Um, Whilst he's doing that, I actually want to show you one final um, piece of functionality that I think is going to be great for consumers. Um, if I say I didn't know as much about you know, 3D printing, um, you know, like this kind of topic is new to me, all I have to do is highlight 3D printing, right click, and you see this smart lookup. What this is doing is it's going away and it's doing a Bing search for 3D printing. So I don't have to leave the context of the document in order to find out more and be able to pull in images you know, and have additional context, right. which is kind of cool. So before, you could do that and get a dictionary. Yep. Um, and now we're just bringing in the richness of the web and sort of whatnot. And the final thing I'll show you here is, Sanjay, you'll see that he's green. I'm showing he's busy because I'm a frightfully busy person. Um, Sanjay is, is there and available to talk to. So I can write from within the application, fire up a Skype message and say, you know, hey, Sanjay, 
and we've got all the Skype emoticons that you're used to, so you can go and put in the sort of animated ones, all that sort of stuff. I see that pop up here. It pops up. And if I want to go and start a video conversation, so I've just invited Sanjay to a video conversation. So say, again, you're a high school student, you're working on a document, or you're working in a business, you probably want to collaborate. And so there's Sanjay and there's Mike. Now, look what happens. We're chatting, we're chatting, we're chatting, but we actually want to go back and do some of that real-time co-authoring. Okay. If I go and minimize this, you'll see just like Skype, you know, like you're used to, it's still there, I can still see Sanjay, and we can be working together on that same document. So that's just a couple of things um, that we think there's a lot to love with the new Word Very 2016. Cool. All right, thank you so much. Thanks, Mike.